Alright then, guys. My name is Sarah from Seventeen. I do a series known as Balls Deep. This is going to be one of those. And real men play real games. And I don't think there is any game as real as I move around and shut my door on fucking mic. Because I'm a, a bad video producer. But there is no game more real than Ben 10 Omniverse. And that's what we're going to be playing today. So, without further ado, let's press start. And get this shit rolling. So I have never played this game, and I put it on my love film list as kind of a joke. Is it 2D? Wow. So, yo dog. I know nothing about this program. When I used to watch Cartoon Network, it had good game, good programs on it. Like Johnny Bravo and Two Stupid Dogs. And Cow and Chicken, but this seems like... I think it's really popular with, with children, so... Um, should really check the achievements for it. We'll go on the hardest difficulty. Stick to our guns. See how this works. So the, the Omnitrix recharges slowly over time. Tech repositories. Yeah, I can't read that fast. Good idea. I'm getting kind of used to the whole the Omnitrix is unpredictable when I need it most thing. Nonsense. There's obviously something wrong with the time circuit. This experiment okay. program should make your Omnitrix complete. This is gripping. Completely gripping. So, training simulation basic combat. Press X to perform a light attack, press Y to perform a heavy attack. Hold the right trigger, press X, Y, B to perform a special attack. So, we do have a modifier button, so this game's already more complicated than Dynasty Warriors. Every single Dynasty Warriors ever made. Press the D-pad in any direction to select an alien form from Ben's Omnitrix, or a Proto Tool function for player 2. Press the left bumper to change back to Ben or return Rook to his unarmed state. Okay, let's beat this guy up. Hey dog, yo dog, gonna low punch you, low kick, low punch, low kick. Yeah, yeah, I'm so good. I can feel it. I can feel my skills. I feel my foot skills. 10G already, and I've got to play this game. <laughs> wow, this guy's taking a beating for a tutorial. What's this about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I lost my combo, motherfucker. How dare you? Right, fighting causes the Omnitrix and the pro blah blah blah. Ben returns to human form, blah blah blah. Whoa. All the left uh, trigger blocks. It's good of him to tell you that, isn't it? On the combat tutorial, you would think that perhaps that would be slightly more important than the letting on. Yeah. Yeah. Taste my shoe! So these special moves are a bit shit. Yeah, I could. That's how cool I am. This guy's got a ray gun. That guy's breathing fire. From his ray gun, so it's a fiery ray gun. Yeah. Take my shoes. Yeah. Bloody hell, he's throwing them at me. Which is a good thing, because that's probably the only reason anybody's going to play this game, because it's obviously so gripping. A menu. When you see the interact arrow over object, you can interact with it. To interact, press the right bumper when you're near the object. Okay. Interesting. So normally the right bumper was rolling, but they've they've taken that off me. I guess the the visuals aren't too bad. It's got a cell shaded aesthetic to it. If you like the cartoon or pro. The fuck have I done here? Oh, double jump. Double jump for the win. Oh, I'm so glad we survived that section. Did you compensate for the general variance? Ah. Go on, douchebag, I'm fighting these guys. Oh, my friend has died. What a douche. Can I knock him off? Get a bit of ring arse going here. No, I don't think so. So it feels like a brawler. It feels kind of like, you know, a, a technological advance or logical next step for something like a Streets of Rage. And it's wrapped up in in the, the license of this TV show. So if you're a fan of the TV show, you're probably going to like it. But 
if you're coming here expecting great things, which I really wasn't, you know, it's it's kind of par for the course, really. This is almost exactly what I expected this to be. So, swapping Omnitrix aliens. Ben starts each level with four aliens mapped to his Omnitrix, which I still haven't used yet. Ah. Okay. Should really try some of this, see what it does. Right, block and dodge. Hold the left trigger to block damage from enemies. Move the right analog in any direction to dodge. Oh, alright, so it's got a war dodge, is it? Okay, I get that. Oh wow, that guy's got like crystal arms. But he's still. These things still take a million punches from this big blue guy. Let me check me out. I'm, I'm like Captain Planet on roids. And I'm still. Like, let's be this dude. What does this guy have? It just it just a fiery version. Do you do anything with fire, sir? Any fire moves? Ah, oh, move me back into. Oh, I'm out of alien juice. I've run out of alien juice. Can I? Uh... No. I cannot get my alien juice back. Just kick this guy till he dies. Bye, guy. Okay, guys, beat my friend up, you. That, that guy who's with you is no good at all. But if you want to get some beers in with, your, with a friend of yours and play something stupid, this is two player. And there are worse games to play, because uh, I've played them. Right, Wild Mutt has the ability to sniff out hidden trails and clues. Hold the right trigger and press X to activate his scent trail ability. Fuck me, dude. Why do you keep sending me messages? Jesus Christ. Like... It's nice that people want to send messages and stuff over Xbox, but do it on YouTube. YouTube is so much easier for me to reply. On console, I don't have a, a USB keyboard. It's just a pain in the dick. Oh, he's off screen. He's off screen for too long. He dies. Old school right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is how cool I am. Check me out, boo. What is wrong with this dog? What is wrong with this game? Oh no, laser. A really slow motion jump on a dog. Dogs don't jump slow at all. If anything, they jump faster than humans. And I don't know why I'm converting logic into this silly children's game, but still. Take my upside down face. Lick the jaws of my upside down face. Yeah. But I can see how this probably gets really mindless. So I would recommend if you're going to be playing it on your own, if you want to test it out, or if you just want to get the achievements, put on a TV show or a podcast or something that you enjoy to listen to slash watch, and turn your brain off. Because this doesn't look like it's going to get much more complicated. Some areas are only accessible by climbing. To climb, enter the highlighted area and press right bumper. Press the right bumper again at the end of the climb to drop to the ground. Okay. So they've got a little bit of the old God of War climbing. And I call it God of War climbing because I think it's the game that did it the best. Like Prince of Persia did have it. Assassin's Creed has it, but Assassin's Creed is super fucking sticky. Let me press it again. Why did I turn into that monster to, to do that simple thing? Uh, Power-ups. Just keep your eye out for them. Which generally means that there's probably one very close to us. There you go. Okay. Here comes some bad guys! Throwing bombs! Wow, what a wind-up! Who's he gonna hit with that? Oh no! Don't wind up that bomb throw that takes nine days to release. Yes! There we go. Bit of stun lock in. That's why we play games, ladies and gentlemen. So you can play as a giant four-armed red twat who looks like Deadpool on roids and just keep mashing the Y button to win. Yeah. Take my gut. Take it. My gut punch. Yeah, I can see the alien juice draining in the top left. It's telling me I'm about to turn back into a prepubescent little boy. Alright, what does this do? Training Simulation 3, under two marketplace. Oh, there might have been collectibles in that other place, and I didn't look. I can't believe it's called Tennyson. Ben Tennyson. Get it? Ben Ten. 
Derp. Oh, frame rate chugged just then. I don't know why. It's not like it's displaying majestic graphics or anything. Right, some objects can be destroyed when you attack them. This is not only clears your path, it also gives you bonus pickups. So Xbox Crush. Ah, yes. Just like a Simpsons arcade game, only slightly worse. Very funny. That's probably a joke in the game, in the in the TV show. Sorry, but like I say, I've never watched an episode of this, and I never intend to because it just it don't really look like my thing. Yeah, punching the market stalls. It's like sleeping dogs, but for children, like sleeping pups, sleeping space pups or robot pups. Oh, lasers. Right. Oh, it's changed my little scrubber green guy into the dog. I don't want to be the fucking dog. I want to be Crystal Man. This camera is um, automatic, and I'm not the biggest fan of automatic cameras. What about your folks? Like sometimes it can be done really well. Other times, is I'm nearly dead. I am dead. No! Oh, your life is is isolated to the, the thing you pick. I get it. Uh oh. That's pretty interesting. Look at this guy. He's like robotic Darth Maul, but he's, he's shit. He's like Phantom Menace Darth Maul at the end where he just flops in half. Uh oh, I am dead. Wow, this might be quite tough. Unless I'm not understanding a part of the combat. Hmm. Let's try and trigger that spawn and then play that a bit more intelligently. Right. Just, oh wow, look at the life that that just took off. Fuck me. As if Ben 10's gonna turn out to be a challenge. Can I skip it? The fuck is this? Oh, I think it gives me Ben 10 juice. I just. Like, brawlers work best when the enemies don't take this much damage, I think. It's, it's one of those. And I, know, I appreciate it's on the hardest difficulty, so they've got to scale something. But still, it's. A little bit awkward. Should really be going for the guy with the gun because he's the real threat here. Need to get my robot guy back. When my robot guy's alive, he gives me a distraction so that the, everybody doesn't just kill me. It's not just everybody pick on the giant blue crystal alien man. Come on, kill him. Get him. You got a big laser sword, man. You're going to be getting sued by George Lucas. You might as well get your money's worth. So yeah, died on the tutorial, which tells you your dog I suck at Ben 10. Cannonbolt's abilities allow him to interact with cannonbolts. That's too much to read. Too much stupidness to read. Okay. What is going on here? Apparently I'm uh, running out of Cannonbolt. <laughs> yeah! Just beating up shops now. I think we've come to the end of this journey with Ben 10. So. That was a balls deep of a game you'll probably never ever play and I wouldn't blame you. But thanks for watching anyhow folks and enjoy.